folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Love is the medicine that accelerates healing. Love yourself, love your neighbor, love your enemies, but begin with self-love. You cannot love others until you love yourself. You cannot share what you do not have. If you do not have, if you do not love yourself, you cannot love anyone else either. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ up 76, S&P's up two and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $19.30 at 18.46 an ounce. We have silver down uh, 24 cents, 21 dollars 62 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a half a buck, trading at 78.54 notes and bonds. The 10 year note down nine ticks, trading 112.01. The 30 year off 23 at 126.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 683 ticks at 103.916. The euro is at 106. The yen's at 120. And the British. The ends at one, sorry, the ends at 134, and the pounds at 120 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways day in the S&Ps. We're going to bring up first, I'm going to bring up the futures. So let's see where we're going to land here, speculate where we're going to land for the day. So we take a look at the futures out here. And so yesterday, there was quite a consolidation yesterday, huh? <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Oh, so we're going lower. Okay, so bottom line is that we got up to the price point uh, out here this morning, just about 20, 30 minutes ago, of 41.54. And then what you're going to see here, right that bar right there, the acceleration on the bar, that's the seller, man. Um, and then what we have, so this is going to get interesting, man, because what we have, we're at... 4148. This could be at 4131 before we close. You know, and where I'm going with this, folks, I'm taking the high of that high volume bar. See, the, the, we have a high volume bar there at 940 this morning, uh, 1010 this morning. So if it comes back down, the first puzzle would stop is the high of the low, but that high volume low will get tested. Doesn't have to be today, but it will get tested. Let's go right to the NQs. We'll take a look at the NQs. So we take a look at the NQs because it's going to make a big difference as to where we close out here today. So if we take a look at the NQs, that got over the highs of yesterday. You don't have any juice up there, though, man. Nope. Hey, we'll see where this shakes up. So the NQs were 12,691. So 12,672 is what it's going to try to get into in the next 10, 15 minutes. If it gets into it, then that, that basically says it can come all the way back down the other end. So it's going to be kind of, it's a great trading market. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract wants to run down to the 1795 area. Um, you're at 1846 right now. You know, you're going to, you're going to there's you 160,000 contracts here. Um, you know, we'll see where the shakes out. But this is where the gold run started the last time we were going up in October. Uh, you know, it consolidated a bit, then we made the run all the way up, and I suspect we're making this all the way back. Notes and bonds. Now, this is what's running the market as well as the dollar. And, um, you know, inflation's not going away, folks, okay? So, bottom line, it's not even close either. It blows my mind that they, <laughs> they, and we'll talk about this in a second, but it's just, anyway. The 10 year, the 10 years wants to go hit 110. And at 110, that's going to be how we, where we got, came off the lows, okay? You can see yesterday, man, that was a monster 2.4 million contracts. Forget it. You were going into 1.3. The 110 is right where we actually took off from where the strength came in last time we were down there. So I expect it's going to get down there. The, the thing that is um, that this could go a lot lower, when you get a day like yesterday, going into that swing, cracking the swing, and have that type of volume, it's like, okay, game is on, and that day game could be a lot lower. Price, a lot higher yield. We go to the dollar, and it's all about the dollar. The dollar, bottom line, you know, it's come off the lows. The low that we're talking about is two weeks ago. That was the 100.82, you're at 103. 
And where I'm going with this, I'm just saying, hey, listen, man, you do a dead cat bounce, it's 106 to 107. You can see that the 0.382 is 106, 550. You know, the 107 is a 50% retracement, 107, 799. And that is also where ice is. That's where it dropped down. So, you know, my take is that that's where we're going. And if that's correct in the assessment that that's where we're going, you are going to see more damage inside the marketplace. Um, you know, market hasn't done anything out here today. You know, that's the bottom line. That, what, it, what is happening here now in the market is like a, a slow sideways to lower prices. You know, it looks like nothing happens and then all of a sudden you another leg down. It looks like you consolidate and it's trying to get higher and you get another leg down. That's kind of where this thing is shaking out right now. You know, you bring this back, the SPY couldn't make its highs. You know, it certainly got over its last swing high. The last swing high we're talking about in the SPY was that 410 area. And you know, the longer it stays over 410, that, that's, that's a good situation. But the bottom line is that I suspect that, you know, it's the slow bleed on the way down. We take a look at the, the Qs, you know, the, the Qs, same deal. The Qs couldn't get to the high. I mean, you know, six months ago, you're at 330, you're at 308. Uh, it's certainly in a new range though. Anything over the 296 gets you the new range. And you know, yesterday, that was a good day for the Qs yesterday. You know, the, contra the contraction on volume today is not a good day. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get uh, Tesla's up a buck and a half. You get uh, Roblox is up nine bucks. They come out with numbers. Alphabet's up a buck, no big deal there. You have, uh, there's the Airbnb. Airbnb's up, that's up $17.31. That's a big, big number out there. Trade Desk. Uh, thirteen dollars. We go inside the NDX 100. The strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Airbnb up 14 percent. Rivian up seven. Uh, ADI up six. Taken away from it. Biogen down 4.3 percent. Fang off 3.2. Uh, GFS 2.8. And Pindo Dual is down uh, 1.8. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 48, Nasdaq's up 70, S&P's off one and a half, we'll come right back.